LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus fifteen. T minus ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off, Starlink 47. Vehicle is pitching down range. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. We are T plus 40 seconds into liftoff. Falcon 9 has successfully cleared pad 39A and carrying Power our stack of elbow. Max Q. And there was Max Q. In about a minute, we have three events happening in quick succession. First up is main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then second engine start one, also known as SES-1. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And next start. Bearing separation confirmed. So we've had successful main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, successful second engine start on the um, second stage, and then also fairing deploy. On screen right now, you can see the first stage booster at the bottom of your screen um, making its way back along with the two fairing halves. So a couple of views on screen right now on the right-hand side of your screen is a view of our single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Those Starlink satellites that we have been talking about, all webcasts, those are located on the opposite end of that engine. On the left-hand side of the screen is a view from the top of our first stage looking down. Um, its job right now is to head back towards uh, the drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, and make its sixth landing attempt. In order to make its way back, the first stage has two burns today. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. The first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. And this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that will bring the, speed, the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. So we are still a few minutes away from the next milestone. The Starlink satellites that we're going to be delivering today, we're going to be delivering them to low Earth orbit, and they will be operating at about 550 kilometers. It's continuing to go well for both stages. Uh, today, we will be ending our webcast stage after one, we confirm orbit of the second stage, and then we'll confirm deployment on our social media platforms. Good orbit insertion. So we are about 20 seconds away from the first of two burns on the first stage. Three engines on the Merlin, three Merlin engines on the first stage will reignite and help to slow down that stage before it hits the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn start up. And there are those three engines that have reignited. This burn is expected to last for about 20 seconds. Starlink satellites operate at, at over 60 times closer to the Earth than traditional satellites. Uh, most satellites are at 36,000 kilometers in altitude, 
in geostationary orbit. And when satellites are farther from Earth, the round trip data time between the user and satellite, known as latency, is much higher. Stage one entry burn shut down. Awesome. That is one of two burns successfully completed. Stage two FTS is saved. In about a minute, we have a couple events happening in rapid succession. So we'll have the landing burn start on the first stage, just under 10 seconds away from the landing burn of the first stage. For now, we are enjoying some stage two great guidance. views of the second stage, stage rolling back in engine. So you can see that the drone ship is getting closer. And on the right-hand side of the screen is that drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one, late deploy. Does look like the video cut out for a little bit. And I'm hearing some cheers here in Hawthorne. And there's visual confirmation that the first stage has landed for the sixth time. But that is going to be bringing our webcast to a close today. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers using our service at this time. Thanks for joining us for our third and final launch of this week. And we will see you again soon.